Greetings and welcome to the channel everybody. Wow, it's been a while since I made a video about Samsung Galaxy smartphones, so I thought let's restart the video series. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the blank space at the bottom of the keyboard when you are using navigation gestures. And this will make the keyboard fit properly on the screen like this. And the benefit is you get slightly more screen real estate area for your content. So let me show you how to make this change. But before we do that, the wallpaper links are in the video description. A lot of people ask me where I get my wallpapers from. Well, these are just photos that I've taken myself. So I'm guessing you guys already know what navigation gestures are. If you enable navigation gestures, that hides the navigation bar that appears at the bottom of the screen. And that kind of gives you a more immersive full screen view. Now to enable full screen gestures and to get rid of the navigation icons, drop down the notification panel, go to settings, then tap on display, scroll down to navigation bar and select swipe gestures. And you also might want to disable gesture hints. So once you enable swipe gestures, that gives you a full screen experience. Now the problem is if you pop open the keyboard, there is a blank space at the bottom. The way you get rid of this blank space is by disabling show button to hide keyboard. And once you disable this, the blank space at the bottom of the keyboard will disappear and the keyboard will fit properly on the screen like this. Now some of you guys were asking me which keyboard I'm using on my phones. Well, I use Microsoft SwiftKey keyboard and you can download this from the Play Store. And this is an awesome keyboard because it's got a ton of features and customizability. And this is actually a theme. You can download different themes for your keyboard. Press on this button, then tap on these three dots, then select themes. And there are plenty of themes available for you to download. So this one looks nice. So depending on your mood, you can change the theme of your keyboard. You can also design your very own theme. You can have your very own picture on the keyboard. So what we are going to do is just pick a random picture from our gallery. So this looks nice. Done. So this is our very own custom keyboard. You can disable keyboarders if you like. And there are plenty of features available. So it's got a built in translator if you like. You can also add GIFs can search them online. You can even add stickers. So yeah, tons of customizability available on SwiftKey keyboard and uh, you can also resize this if you'd like. And just like the Samsung keyboard, it's also got gesture input. So this makes typing a lot easier. So yeah, SwiftKey keyboard is awesome. I urge you guys to try this keyboard out. I think you will love it. Alright guys, I guess that's pretty much all there is to it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed and if you did enjoy watching this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. And I've got plenty of videos on Samsung Galaxy smartphones, so do make sure to check them out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in another video.